Welcome to session 9 of Scratch Junior Tutorials. I request all of you to click on the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I load a new tutorial for you. So we're going to learn two new options today. One is in the yellow block which is start on bump driver and the other one is repeat forever. Now these options can be real good fun because when I play this activity you will notice what's happening here. So let's see if I click, click on the green flag, the red car moves. Beep, beep, as soon as beep. it touches the yellow car it stops on its own and the yellow car moves you know ahead. So if you see again in this we are using two blocks of coding. One is the green when which gets executed on when I click on the green flag the other is start on bump so let's quickly learn a very good example is also given of this activity in the help tutorials so uh, the bump so it's a it's a lovely option now when I click on green flag you see the yellow duck touches the blue one the blue touches the green one and it comes back Okay, so that all works through start on bump. So let's learn quickly. So I click on the plus icon. I would delete the cat. I'll take a nice background. And we will insert two cars. One is with the orange or red color. And the other one would be the yellow color. Now in my earlier tutorials I have already shown you how to reduce the size of it. Let's see it again. Go on any one car whose size you want to reduce. Click on look. You have an option of shrink. Just drag and drop it here without any uh, yellow block and press it once, twice, thrice. <coughs> and similarly do it for the yellow car. We click on shrink. One, two, three. And we place it here. You could throw off this block. Now once that is done, my first task is to make the, the orange car move. But this time what I want to do is, I don't want to manually put like five or ten or fifteen or thirty in the forward block what I'll do is I'll just put one okay because I'm assuming I don't know how far the yellow car is and I will go on the red block here and I'll play take forever okay so what it means is on click of start uh, on click on the green uh, flag the red car will keep moving forever in the front that's option one okay but we don't want the car to crash with the yellow car right right now it's kind of crashing on the yellow car so what we'll do is we'll add a very small code click on stop we will go on now the third block which is start on bump now what I want to do on bump is stop the car. So we learn actually the third option. So go on the orange block. On bump, stop the car and end the code. Okay. So two codes, one and two. On green flag, move forever. Right. Because we don't know how far the red car is from the yellow car. And on bump, stop the car. Let's play. See, it stopped. Okay, cool. And now what we do is, we will write some code for the yellow car. So we will take the yellow car here, and we'll say, on bump, like as soon as something touches it, like you know, on bump means as soon as something touches it, you make it move ahead. This time I will manually give three steps and stop the code. 
So let's play and see what happens. Hey, that's it. So that works pretty fine. Right? Isn't that cool? Okay. So now, that was three options you learned. One is start on bump. One is stop. And the third option you learned here was repeat forever. So we are already through with almost all the options. The only thing we have to pick up now is start on audience, start on message and send on message. We'll see that in the other class, the next class. But now let's see the second bump example we have here is the duck one, the yellow duck. So here what happens is the yellow duck moves for these many steps. Then the blue duck moves only on bump and the green duck jumps on bump. Okay, very simple. So out here I go on plus, I delete, I would select like a like a cool background here let's see if I can take a and we will insert some characters here which do we have duck here or we could just take some other character So we could do is uh, we would we could change this uh, to a dog, and then we would add like a rabbit. So what we'll do is we'll do a bump activity that as soon as the dog comes close to the rabbit, the rabbit jumps and runs away. Okay. So first thing we do is. We follow the same process. <clears throat> we take the the movement, move right, and we repeat it forever. Okay, that's step one. Now, if I play it, you see, that's repeating forever. But what I want to do is, what I wanted to do is, I wanted to stop when it bumps into the rabbit. So we'll go on the third code, bump and stop and we end the code. So now when I click, stop, okay. And the final step is I go on the rabbit. Now the rabbit should only jump and run away when it gets bumped into by something. So here in case it's getting bumped by the dog. So I would select jump forward and jump forward twice and end the code let's see what happens okay so that's how the bump example works I hope you all enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching and see you in the 